Hello, my name is Alberto Pascal, and today I will be sharing with you my solution to the crossword puzzle problem. A little bit of background first. Well, this problem can be represented as a constraint satisfaction problem, and the objective is to find the words that best fit the given crossword layout. Uh, we will be giving a look to the functions that were modified here, and starting with enforced node consistency, uh, we want to make sure that every variable fulfills the unary constraints, and it's a pretty simple function. We only make sure that the word has the same number of letters as the variable's length, otherwise we remove it from the domain. The revised function wants to make sure that variable, that given variable x, there is always a possible value for variable y. And to achieve this, we basically look for an overlap and compare each word of domain x with each word of domain y. If there's at least one option, we can use that word and we're good to go. If not, we we'll remove the first word from domain X. AC3, we want to update every domain so that each variable is arc consistent. And for these, we start with a combination of variables that overlap. I make this list by having the permutations of all of the crossword variables that overlap or receiving a pre-made uh, list of variables. And then we go through every combination of X and Y and revise them. Also, if the domain's length is zero, we cannot have an arc consistency, so we return false. For assignment complete, we only have to check if we have an, a valid word for every variable. And therefore, we have to go through every variable in the crossword puzzle and check if in our assignment keys there is that variable and if that variable has a word assigned to it and it is not none. If it is none or if the variable is missing, we are not be able to mark the assignment as complete. For consistency, we want to see the basically three criteria. So we want to check for length and see that the length of the word is the length of the variable. We want to check that one same word is not assigned to two different variables. And we also want to check that both words can overlap one another. For order domain values, we're going to pick options that limit our future choices the list. So we go through every word on the domain of a given variable and go through every of its unassigned neighbors, checking the overlap between the current variable and the neighboring variables. And therefore we start checking every possible word of the neighboring domain when comparing it with the picked word from the current or given domain. We can add a count mapping it to the current variable. And finally, we order our resulting dictionary in a descending order to pick the best option. The select and assigned variable will help us get an unassigned variable, as its name says, going through every variable in the crossword and checking if it is already or not in our assignment keys. We also keep track of its domain words and its neighbors to order by two criteria, the count of words in its domain in an ascending manner and the degrees or count of neighbors in a descending manner. And finally, the backtracking. Uh, the objective is to check if I can complete an assignment given a partial assignment. And I do this by doing recursive calls. So if my assignment is complete, we can break the cycle and return the assignment. Else we fetch an unassigned variable and we try to assign it. We will try to assign it by choosing every word of that domain and assigning that word to the variable, then checking for AC3 consistency. And if there is AC3 consistency and assignment consistency, we call our backtracking function to keep assigning. Otherwise, we unassign the first word we assigned and look for the next word to see if we can find a combination that matches. Now let's take a look at the code. Uh, here we have the first set of data. We can use structure zero with word zero. And there's our result. We can also combine it with a different word set such as words one, and there's a different result. We can check a different structure using word set one and bring this different result. We can also use the biggest word set, which is words two with structure one. There's a result. And for structure two, since it takes a while for checking of AC3 consistency, I ran it beforehand and here we can see the result. That would be it. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.